Okay. <clears throat> this is supposed to be MDE class. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. So this is supposed to be MDE 54, DC 6B. Um, um, best, where do I start? Now, this particular class is a support class for Math 154. This class is just as, it is required just as Math 154 is required. Okay, um, let's see here. Attendance policy. The student's president is present for 85% of the class participate in activities. Um, is not distracted by cell phones and other devices. A student does not attend three classes, three or more classes may be dropped. Uh, which is accounts about 15% there of the class. Um, being dropped from one MDE 154 means you'd be dropped from 154 as well. Okay, if you withdraw um, after the last day, won't receive a W, you receive un uh, unsatisfactory after the last day to withdraw uh, for the 154. Uh, student who drops from 154, after the last day doesn't receive a W, they receive an F. And there's a deadline to drop tuition and, and uh, the deadline to drop with a W. Uh, I'm using Zoom browser at this time. Grading policy. Okay, you grade in MDE 54, satisfactory. Uh, you get a S, satisfactory, and that's your grade. If you get a D or better in 154, uh, you get an R, repeat, and you get an F in 154. If you withdraw, you get a W or U after withdrawal date. If you withdraw after the withdrawal date, you get a U for the MDE class. Okay. Um, let's see here. I made a video about how to enroll into the second part of the class. Here's the, um, the my math lab portion here. A reminder that um, the MDE class is, is required. Uh, the course, the MDE portion here becomes available on 24th, you don't need an access code. And so after you have um, created, enrolled into the um, Math 154, you can uh, enroll into the MDE course. The course you pay for is the Math 154, the access code. The MDE course for this 154, they use the same content material, so you don't need an access code for this MDE class. So after you have gone ahead and enrolled into the Math 154, you'll do this part and enroll into the second course. And there's the ID for the second course, for MDE 54 there. So when you see this here, if you click on this, it'll take you to the uh, person there. And let's see if I can do something with this. So what happens is that um, you can enroll into it. You can click on that and then go ahead. If you have an ac uh, account, you can go ahead and enroll into it from here. Okay, and it gives you directions there. You, can, you already have an account by this time, then you can enroll into the second course. 
So go to my course, select and enroll in another course, and then you would add the ID to it. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Wait, no. the MBE, we, we do the, we added, because I already added you on the math 154, so we do the other thing. You do the 154, you, you enroll into the math 154 yeah, class first, and then you enroll into this class second. Okay. So that's how, do that. I, how do I obtain the ID code on the website? Okay, this is it right here. There's ID code right there. For for this is for Matt MDE fifty four. The ID code is right there. Hendrick one six. Okay, because I watched the video and it was a different course code, um, and I put it in and it didn't work. But the Hendrick sixteen five ninety five is the code now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else is there? So then I also have a link to the Zoom meeting here with the passcode. So in case you're wondering about the email thing, you should be able to, uh, students told me they did it from here. They were able to just come to Canvas and click on the link and put in the passcode if they asked them and actually get into the class that way, the Zoom meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, now, what, what happens is that because you paid for the Math 154 class, yeah. you don't have to pay for the MDE class, but it's still MDE, just- do we add it the same way? Yes, yes, but you have to add the uh, the 154 class first. Yeah, I already did that one. I already did all the 154. Yeah, so. so the directions for adding the second class are similar, but a little different because you've already got an account now. So you would just sign into your course page, mm -hmm. uh, sign into your account, go to select, go to my courses, enroll in another course. Okay. In the second course, enter the ID the instructor okay. has given you. So uh, navigation, I have a navigation video here for how to navigate uh, around in Canvas. Um, what I have, what I have done is I have gone through each homework problem per week and I've actually worked out each problem on a sheet of paper and shown, or either I've done it I'm doing it. Yeah, there's a video that goes with it. And you can actually see how to work every homework problem for week two. And they're in a YouTube format. So I'll actually go through the process here. There you go. New technology. So, and I actually go through the process of doing it. And back to the canvas. So I actually have gone through um, each problem for the whole week. I haven't done, I've gotten through week 11. I haven't done the whole course. I'm sorry, I've only gotten as far as week 11. But uh, <laughs> that's a lot of problems. Um, to go as also to go along with this, I also have created a playlist of videos 
the list of video topics for whole numbers, fractions, decimals, uh, ratios, percents. And I, I put it in a format like a textbook, a basic college uh, arithmetic book. So for whole numbers, if you want to see everything that's covered in this section here, you can click on that. And it'll tell you everything that's that whole num that whole module, the videos that go with it, introduction to whole numbers, and the subtopics, comparing, writing numbers as words in standard form, rounding. Yeah. So it's in a textbook format. And most of these videos are coming from Khan Academy. And I, I tried to be particular about each video. If, if, if I felt that the explanation was too convoluted, I went to something else. Um, so then there's another set of videos. Uh, and then, then the subtopics. So I've gone ahead. I've gone ahead. And done it for the entire all of these so if you click on so if you click on if you click on these here you can see all the subtopics Okay. Any questions so far? All right. So the there's one. Textbook is a textbook required for the math one fifty four, and if so, would I have to do two textbooks for the no. class two? No, there's no textbook for math math one fifty four or MDE 54. They use the same resources, so there's no textbook period. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so here you see, uh, for, so for fractions, there's the same thing. Wait, so where so for, we needed to buy books? Did we have to buy those online access things? Um, what happens is that when you buy, you have to get access for Math 154. Okay, and MDE 54 uses the same resources as Math 154. So when you get access code for Math 154, it, you don't have to pay for anything for MDE 54. Okay, okay, okay. Because they're both using the same resources. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what, what's the access code? And the access code is something that you purchase for 154. Okay. Where um, did you purchase the access code? Up here. Uh, in here. Purchase materials from Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble first day. Okay. Can I use my financial aid to, uh, to buy that? Yeah. I'm yes, gonna... you can. You can. I'm not exactly sure of how. And I know how to do how they would do something like that face to face. And the I am delayed. The, they do, but the thing is, you have to go to the bookstore to do that. And when you go to the bookstore, you, you go and you get it, and then they give you a physical copy. Or yeah, they used to I issue. Did. They used to issue I have something. A physical copy right now for the 154, and they gave you a physical with the access code. It they lets you do fine. They let you. Get, they used to issue something called a book voucher, which will allow the student to buy school supplies, and in the face to face. So I guess if you online, you may. I guess you may actually have to go there and get a book voucher. They won't allow you to just get the books randomly inside the book. So you have to go online and you have to go into the pickup if you want to pick up at the uh, store. Yeah. yeah. So it may be a little different in, for the online thing. But they do financially will will uh, should cover it for you. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was I was able to do mine online and get it and get the book um, or the code whatever. The code online. Be. Okay. I was, so yeah, I was able to get my book shipped to my house. You so just you, need your um, your student ID 
and um, it asks you, do you want to use financial aid, credit card, or whatever, and then you click on, what you, on financial aid, and you have the option. You have the option to pick it up, or you have the option to get it shipped to your house. Well, you just heard it there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the purchase, um, the access code is required, right? Um, for the Math 154 class, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Since you have to be in, in the MDE class, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But when you enroll into the class, you're going to use the access code for the 154. Right. Okay. So I have here all for, for fractions. Uh, I have a list of video topics for all the topics in fractions. So you can click. I'm using uh, all of this is being done in um, Firefox browser. So what, so what do you want us to do with these videos? Just go through and look at them? Well, I, I put these on up here as a supplemental. Um, in case you're weak on fractions, there's something you can look at. In going through the homework problems and you need some, a reference, something to reference to look at, now you have something to look at. Okay. Because chances are, chances are that everyone's going to need something. I just couldn't tell what. So yeah. I went ahead and, and put it up there for everything, everybody. And I organized it um, by concept, supporting concept, greatest common factor, uh, find the LCM, four different methods, uh, LCM, least common multiple. So I got introduction of fractions there. And it's, and it's organized by concept. Okay. So this way there, if you have an idea, uh, if there's something missing, you have something you can go look at, you know, something like, um, for example, it could be something converting fractions. How do I, how do I, that you can go look at that concept. You don't have to like wonder in space about what am I doing? Okay. What do I have to do? This will give you something. How do I convert or some, or uh, finding equivalent fractions? Or how do I add mixed fractions with unlike, how do I, so now you have something to look at. Um, but when I go back to the module section here, these are the same videos. So if I click on the sub one here, so all the topics that go with this, and all of these in a YouTube format so you can watch them. Now, ordinarily, what will happen is that um, we may spend, for this class, I may spend another half hour to an hour initially, um, I know, for this class, going over and, and getting you guys grounded in, in the beginning. And over a period of time, we may actually go down to just a half hour meeting every, every time we meet. Because uh, when you see how, how I've laid out the, uh, the Math 154 class, it'll take off that fast. So I've done whole numbers, decimals, um, ratio and rates and proportions, percents, and all the subtopics are there. All the subtopics are there. Um, and then what gets to this point here, I've put my own videos in. And I talk you through it. I got three different ones here, graphing, slope, and finding equations. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, um, one thing about, let me see if I can do this. Now, learning support for quantitative reasoning. I've added an attended feature into this here. It's a once a week thing. At the bottom of this is your homework while your homework assignment would be. But there isn't any homework, it's all practice just to get you ready. And at the beginning here, there's how to submit work in Excel in my math lab. There's a study, study skills. Information will get you ready for it. Getting used to Excel, more information, practice. The intent for this course is, mm -hmm. is to practice and go over certain things to build up your skill set. Okay. Um, now the, there are more. There are more things here because you see chapter three, chapter two, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And then at the bottom here, I have weekly attendance check week. So once a week, you have to come in here and do a problem. It doesn't count against your grade. It doesn't count towards your grade. But uh, that you're here. Okay. It's just one problem that tells me that you're here. And I'm going to change these. I have, I've changed them for the other classes. I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to extend it to the seventh. so that you'll have some people are still getting their money together. So that takes that first care of that first week. So you'll have you'll have two weeks to turn in for the first week. So in order to pass this MDE 54 class, you have to pass the one, the math 154. And then let me change this date here to the seventh. So you'll have up to two weeks to go ahead and, and take care of them, do the attendance thing. So, okay. Because of what, what can happen is, what can happen is that some students will actually, it's possible that they will, uh, once it's possible that the students may actually not get their money together till the second week but they can still go ahead and take care of their, their attendance. Okay. Now, um, in my math lab, uh, in, the, in the 154 class, um, the, it's possible that you'll have some problems that look like this. you an example. Okay. So I'll let you see a problem there. Now it's possible now. It's possible that which week? 
Let's see here. That's the week one. Okay. Week one. Let's go week two then. Because there's a one problem there. Week four, week three. So starting here. Preview. So I've done the same thing in Math 154. There's a problem there. There's a video worked out already for it. So, so it does a video for it. So I can click on that video there and you can actually see how to get it done. So I actually go through the process there so you can actually see how to get it done and see the actual problem doing it. And I'll talk you through each problem. And I've done all the, all, if there's a repeat of the problems, I didn't do them all. If, if it was a hard problem, I didn't do every hard problem. I just did one of them. Okay. Like for this one here, for week two, I did 37 of them, but it's 47 there. Some of them are repeats. I did the same thing in math 154. So as you're doing the homework, you get thrown a little bit. I have worked one out for you. Like, just like it or close to it, if not the same one. Now, if, if, you be, if you've looked been into the canvas, you can see that I've also made a test review like that too. That corresponds to the top problems that are gonna be on the test. Okay, so within all of this, um, on, in Math 154, I've set each test up so that you would have infinite attempts before a certain date. I might give you like a week and a half to get it done. And you can take the test infinite number of times. And also I've added um, extra credit to that of 10 points for each test. Okay. Any any question about that so far? No. All right. Um, I don't have much else to tell you. So meanwhile, I think the most important thing is to get enrolled into the class. That's the most important thing is to get enrolled. Uh, I think I see you guys again at one thirty, I believe. Uh, now, if there aren't any questions, I'm going to go ahead and and end the, the Zoom meeting. Yes, no, if there aren't any questions, I'm going ahead and end the Zoom meeting. If I have any difficulties, am I able to like email you or something? Yes, yes. Um, going up to the top here. Hello. 
I'm right here. Okay, it kind of froze, so I couldn't really hear you, and I joined pretty late because I was trying to figure out um, how to join the Zoom because I couldn't find the link. Um, okay. So I missed pretty much everything. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Um, the, my email is right there. Let me do this. There's my email. Okay. Of Hendrick. Okay. And um, what else is there? Go back to the module section. So you see what the syllabus says, the grading po attendance policy. Attendance policy, you have to, you have to attend this MD class here 85% of the time. Failure to do so means you'll be dropped. And if you drop from the MDE 54 class, you also drop from the Math 154 class. And there's okay. the deadlines there. If you withdraw after the withdrawal date, you don't get a, you get a, um, for the MDE, you get a U, and for the Math 154, you get a F after, if you withdraw after withdrawal date. Um, what else is there? Grading policy. Uh, for the MD54, uh, getting an S means that you got a D or better in Math 154. Getting a repeat means you forgot you earned an F. Uh, you get a W or U. Depends on when you withdraw. After withdrawal date, it's a, I believe it's a U. Okay. So I gave you, told you about the grading policy, the attendance policy. Um, and in Matt, MD, the MDE class here, mm -hmm. at the bottom in the homework section, there is an attendance check. I check your attendance there. It's so one problem, it's open for a week. Okay. So you do this one problem and that lets me know that you're active. So for the first two, for the first two weeks there, I set them to be due on the seventh. Um, some people may be getting having a, a temporary access, um, mm -hmm. and you don't want to. This is this is kind of important too. If you enrolled into Math 154 using temporary access, you don't want to be in a situation where your temporary access expires because it locks you out of everything. Mm -hmm. It locks you out of everything. So if there's assignments that are due in Math 154 and um, your temp temporary access has expired, you get a zero. Then you get up, then you upgrade your access after the stuff was due. I'm not going to go back and un un unlock it for you. Okay. So you have two weeks to get, if you, if you have temporary access, you have two weeks to get it up and running and paid for to get full access. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so what can I tell you about that? And also that means I can't do it, you can't take attendance either. If you let that temporary access expire because you can't do a attendance in a math 154 class because they're linked together. You're linked out of both, you locked out of both classes essentially. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the so enrollment period the enrollment period goes to the seventh. You have two weeks to enroll into both classes. Uh -huh. So that takes care of that there. Um back in the in the module section here. In the syllabus, there's your syllabus. I talk about behavior there, net etiquette, uh, time expectation, how long it's going to take for each, how much commitment it's going to take. I already talked about that at Tennyson. Reminder that they're both required. There's also a, a My Math Lab in here. 
this is for the math lab on the campus. So, so they'll get yeah. they'll give each student uh, forty five minutes of online tutoring on. Okay, so okay. each student can get online tutoring forty five minutes uh, a day per day. Okay, in my personal opinion, is that it's better to have a tutor on call than to mm -hmm. need a tutor and can't find one. Yeah. In the course, yeah. Yeah. and the same thing. The other part of that too is that um, when it comes to having a tutor, and I, I started out, I started out teaching. I taught developmental for about seven or eight years, and in some cases, um, having a they may need a math tutor. They may also need a reading tutor. Having a tutor in both. Having a tutor, a reading tutor can help you in all of your classes. Mm -hmm. Having a reading can help you all in all, because if you can't read, you can't study. Yeah. So a reading tutor can help you in all your classes. And it's better to have a reading tutor, a tutor on call and not need a tutor than uh, need one and can't find one to change a C to a B, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a C to an A, uh, an F to a, to a C, you can change a grade. And a reading tutor will help you in all of your classes. So that's my, my little uh, soapbox there on getting having a, a tutor. Um, but what I have done here in, in the Canvas portion of it, you see there, uh, there's a video of how to enroll into the second part of the class. Um, the, my, the, the MDE course is the second part. You want to enroll in the Math 154 first. Okay. Math 154 first, get enrolled into that class first enroll into the MDE 54 class second. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do before I got into the Zoom because I was like, I don't even see no Zoom link. So I just started to try to enroll. So the Zoom link is right here. Okay. With the passcode. So you click on that link and it'll take you to the class. And if okay. they ask you for the passcode, there's the passcode. And it works. Other students have used that link. Okay. okay. Uh, what else is there? And then underneath that, I got Zoom link information in case you want to. I've had situations where students would be using a cell phone. So, okay, uh, so, so to enroll in the 154 and, and MDE 54, you go to reminder MDE, this tab right here, the MDE 54 in math 154 no, required. For, no, for that right there, that just reminds you. That's just going to remind you that it's required. Yeah, just okay. to remind you. Now, for the math, this isn't this isn't the one fifty four class. So I'll get to the one fifty four class uh, later on. But to enroll into, but to enroll into, uh, so you would enroll into the 154 first, and then you would use your access code, and then you would enroll into the MD54. And we get the access code from Barnes and Noble. Oh, uh, the access, yes, you buy that, yeah. But now you can go, you can go in, you have access, you can go into the Canvas portion of Math 154 now, and get and everything is in there. You can go into Canvas Math 154 now, and get the and get the uh, the the registration handout and get that now and enroll into the course now. But because this time is set aside for MDE, that's what I'm focused on here. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in the, in the my math lab portion, there's homework problems for each week. For each week, so this week two and week three, their homework problems, and I worked out the homework problems. And what happens is that. Um, what happens is that. You can click on this here and take you to all the homework problems worked in that week two selection. What we can do, 
what you can do is actually have the problem side by side. So the problem that you're working on, have it next to it and have the video solution here right beside it. You can have the problem that you're working on here and the video solution next to it. Each one of these is a, a, a video of, of each individual problem. So you can actually be working here and seeing how to do it here. I've done the same thing for Math 154. I've set it up the same way. So you can actually see the problem then see how to work the problem at the same time. Oh yes, I am part-time. <laughs> so does anyone else have any questions on that? Oh, this is one other last thing here. Um, so in addition to that, so you see the video solutions for each week. I've also went ahead and I've organized a set of links, like a, almost like a, um, an ebook, a video ebook. And it lists all the, so like you, you have difficulty with uh, adding whole numbers or subtracting. You can see in here, I've organized it into links by concepts. And there's a video link of comparing numbers, comparing, writing numbers. So every potential, potential concept uh, for whole numbers covers it. Subtraction, adding, subtracting with borrowing and grouping. This will video for it. Now most of these are coming from Khan Academy. So I've done it for fractions, for decimals, ratio, group rates, proportions, uh, percent videos here, integers and sign numbers. I went through and I tried to make sure that the explanations, I listened to all to almost every one of them to make sure the explanations were pretty halfway decent and not too convoluted. And I even got one here, introduction to videos, list of video topics. You're looking for something dealing with um, equations or, or an algebra. So let's see what's, you don't know where, you can click on that. And it'll tell you exactly where it might be. So variable expressions, introducing reduction to equations. Solving equations in the form, solving equations in the form, translating. So you can click on those and it'll take you to a YouTube video for how to solve. So what the purpose of these videos here is to fill in the gaps where you might be missing, where you know about equations, you know a little bit about equations, but you, you have some uh, gaps that might be, be filled in. This will help do that for you. So that takes care of that. And some of these are there are actually um, video lectures from my mom that I'm using Math 154. And if you click on these here, these are actually videos that I've created for how to solve certain things. Then I got others here, video lectures. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Um, what else is there? Does anyone have any questions for I end this? Okay. Um, Could no you explain the yes. uh, temporary access again? Yes, with the temporary access, uh, the way the way the way it works is that your access to for the MDE class 
is linked to the Math 154 class. So if you pay for an access code in Math 154, you automatically get access to MDE 54. If you get, if you get uh, temporary access for Math 154, then anything you get will be temporary. Else, if you add on to be MDE be temporary as well. So the one that I bought from the bookstore, would that be like temporary access or would that be like the full? No, that would be the full access. That's full access. That's full access already because I already got that from the bookstore. That's oh, full yeah. access there. Now, one other thing about talking about access codes, do not do not buy a used access code. I went through this with several students and I, and I shake my head every People time. People allow that. They only allow new ones. Right, right. Because uh, I've had students that well, uh, they'll be in class. I bought this for my friend in another class, and they find it doesn't work. That's because That's... they've already <laughs> they've already used it. You can't use it again. They don't want you to cheat. <laughs> yeah, you, you pay for it one time. You can't give it to your friend and sell it to your friend and make some money. And I feel so sad for them. I What's the so name sad. of the textbook that we're supposed to get? Um, reasoning. It, it's in the what? syllabus here. One and ten reasoning, uh, math one. Oh, it's the same. That it's the same as <laughs> Quantit thinking quantitatively. Yeah, by Gaze. Uh, let's see here. Go to the dashboard. N D E. This one here. And we can get this fella. Yes. Where is the textbook at? I looked, I just saw it. Like Barnes and Nobles or something? Yeah, you get it from Barnes and that's where you purchase it from. There's okay. something right there. That's the required textbook for the class. You can go to your class schedule and click on um, SIS and then click on. No. Is that the textbook or the, the access code thing? The access code, where you buy the access code. Oh, so I bought like my math lab. Is that the same thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's, there isn't, there isn't a, a physical textbook that does not ex exist. Only thing I'm using is the access code. I have right now. I have both the physical and the, the yeah. code. Yeah, that comes together with the Barnes and Noble. It, now there is something with a bundle with uh, uh, with worksheets, but I'm not using that. Yeah, they gave it to you because uh, it came with it, so they don't want to do like separately. So they right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. So what's the what's the like physical textbook called? There isn't a there isn't a physical textbook. All you need is an ISBN number there. Um, and you right when here. you buy it. Oh, the ice, they'll, they'll okay. ice being with worksheets. This is what you're probably Oh, okay, probably. okay. Okay. Yeah, they give you, like, on here, you can do it on paper, so you don't have mm -hmm. to just print it out. And then it'll, like, give you, like, some of it is, like, the work problems, and you just do it. And they show you, like, examples. You just follow. Oh. I'm not using, the, I'm not using the, um, the physical worksheets. That's just, I'm not using that. I'm, I'm just using the, um, the, the computer access. Is the um, Math 154 and the MD 54, are the homework like the same thing? Or nope. Like, no. Nope. They're different things? The way, the way it's set, let me go back to where I'm supposed to go. Let me go back. Um, they use the same content. So you're not going to be charged twice. You only be charged for the MDE 154 one time. And then because they use the same content, you don't pay anything for it once you pay that one time. So um, it would be like, would it be the same questions though? Or would I have to like go on two separate? No, things? the way I've set it up is that I have problems in, in the, in the uh, peer, in the my math lab for the MDE class. There are prob questions and problems I may ask you to go over or to try new concepts. There may be things where um, I'm going, I know that there'll be some, um, some what do you call it, uh, bottlenecks. So I'm going to go over order of operations or I'm going to go over how to solve an equation. I'm going to go over proportions so you can see how to do it. 
Um, other than that, there may be a situation where, if, Mr. Hendrick, can you go over some equations again? Mr. Hendrick, can you go over or operations again? Can you, and I'll spend time doing that. But there may be some things that I need you to see and go over. Then it also may be times where I'll, I'll go over certain things. And there may be problems in my math lab that I want you to try. Uh, the attendance part is in there for sure. So you have to go there at least once a week. So I know Where's the Where's the um attendance part to do that one problem at? At the bottom. At the bottom. bottom. Okay. There it is. The first and one. And for like grades or anything? Not in, in the MDE class. It's dependent on participation and your uh, grade in Math 154. So you want us to do um week one today? Well, sometime this week. Okay. It's not due until what? The 7th? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then week two isn't due until the seventh, but after that, they're like every week. Because I, I understand that some students um, okay. may not have enrolled yet. So I went ahead and gave you a little extra time to get it done. So these are MDE, right? These, all these problems? Say it again? These are just all MDE? These are all MDE problems. These are, yeah, this is a whole, it's a different problem set. I, I haven't unlocked everything. Okay. So they're like for two, they're setting up proportions, then three arithmetic with units, and then um, fractions. And in between, then they got note taking skills and stuff like that, which I may not, I probably won't do. Okay. Uh, I'll spend most of the time talking about the math. But if I see that uh, study skills here, I may talk a little bit about it, certain things that do work, uh, that I, I know that do work. Um, so 154 is going to be completely different with all of these? Or? It'll be completely, it'll be similar, but different. It'll okay. be similar, but different. Um, the Math 154, I have, it, I have it grouped in models of testing units. So everything that you need to pass the first test is in a unit. Everything you need to pass the second test is in another unit. Everything you need to pass the third test is in another unit. Everything you need for the fourth test is all in a particular module. Within that, I have handouts, I have video lectures, I have um, homework solutions. Then I also have um, a video test solution for each test, for each test unit. How so many there, tests will we have? Um, there'll be four tests and a final exam. Okay. And uh, I've set it up, I'm getting ahead of myself. But is said, everything that's due, is it going to show up on our Canvas calendar? It should. It should. But you okay. can see it. You can see it from right here. It'll show a due date when you get to your assignments. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it disappeared like that. Could we go ahead if we, like, wanted to? Like, if we wanted to do, like, the second week, if we already finished the first? Um, you, you can. Because I, you can, you can. You can start right now. If you're in, these, these are practice problems. Now, in the MDE course, they're all practice problems. I'm not going to hold it against you. These are practice. Okay. It's all practice. So if the problem is in here, it's better to find out what you don't know before you take the test. Yeah. And then everybody has a different time schedule, so I can't really mandate, only mandate so much. Wait, so the, the assigned... Uh, assignments with the check marks on that those are like required to complete for a grade they're practice every their practice okay so everything on right here is all practice yeah that i've checked so far but i'm going to uncheck more stuff okay i'm going to uncheck because i've only unchecked uh should uncheck this one too so you said we have four tests for mde 54 Will we have like other tests for Math 154? Uh, or will, like all be combined into one? Say it again. Say it again. Well, we have. You said we had four tests in MDE 54. So will we have like other tests in Math 154, or is it going to be like one whole? You got it. You got it. We got it backwards. In Math 154, okay. there are four tests. Okay. In in MDE 54, there are zero assessments. Oh, okay. It, except for the attendance problem once a week. 
So we're just getting graded on our attendance. So basically everything in this class is just for support, right? Yes, it's a support okay. class. It's a Got support it. class, which will be, you might come to me with a problem on order of operations, and then I'll pull up the screen and we can practice some problems doing that. Then I may get, give you some problems from here that deal with order of operations. Okay, cool. And you said for like the test, we have unlimited like tries, you said? Yes, up until a certain point. Like I might say, we I'll give you like a week and a half to do ch ch test one, and you have, you'll have infinite attempts within a week and a half. Okay. The first test, I believe, I set it up to be September the twenty second. But I, what I haven't done is I haven't noticed I haven't made everything available, so I, I don't want to be in a situation where I make everything available and the person completes everything in a week, and then no, I, I'm not going to do that. So I uh, made everything that you need for like the first two weeks available. And then after that, I'll start making more stuff available. Um, I think that, I, I think that's fair because some people paid for the course. Some people paid for it. It shouldn't be, I give I shouldn't just give it away like that. If you and follow you what I'm saying. Extra credit. Oh, yes. That's another good question there. And in the Math 154 class with each test, I've added 10 points extra credit within each test. There's 10 points extra credit. So that it comes to about 5% uh, overall extra credit. So, but you, the way I've set it up is that you can't just do the extra credit first. You have to take the test first. It's a prerequisite. So you have to take the take the test first and then you can do the pre then you can do the extra credit and i've set it up in such a way that i can see who's done every who's done it and then i see they got it right so i add 10 points to the grade then i add 10 points to the grade um that way you don't get penalized if you get the extra credit wrong it doesn't pull your average down if you get the credit wrong that was the easiest way i could see to do it and that's, that is in math 154. That is in math 154, not in the MD, MDE class. Any questions so far? No, sir. Okay. Um, if there aren't any questions, then I'm going to go ahead and end this meeting. And I will see most all of you back at what? 1.30, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay, have a safe one. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.